Hello, dear friends. So yesterday in the life processes, we discussed the four main topics. That is, first one is nutrition, second one is respiration, third one is transportation, and the fourth one is excretion. So today we are going into the first portion of nutrition. Okay, nutrition. Yesterday, as I told, it is about food. Okay, what you are taking as food. Now there are uh, two things of food. Okay, one is making the food yourself. And the other is we are taking the food from any other sources. Okay, अभी देखो, we are always depending on any other source. We are taking we are taking vegetables, fruits, or any other things for our source. Okay, so we are dependent on other thing. Okay, whereas plants they make their own food. Okay, they are taking the oxygen and carbon. They are taking the carbon dioxide and sunlight and chlorophyll. With that, they are making their self the food itself. Okay, so. As discussed last year in the seventh chapter, there are two types of nutrition. One is autotrophic nutrition, and the other one is heterotrophic nutrition. Autotrophic याने जो खुद ही food बनाते हैं, heterotrophic याने जो दूसरे पे depend होते हैं. Hetero, we are all heterotrophic nutrition, okay? Heterotrophs. We are depending on other things. Whereas plants, they make their self the food. Okay. So what is nutrition first? It is a process by which an organism obtains its nutrients and utilizes them for obtaining energy okay we oh, look uh, nutrients we want the nutrients and they use it for what for utilizing the energy and building and repairing the tissue okay so the why the nutrients are we are intaking the nutrients for energy for building and repairing of the tissue building and repairing means maintenance okay now the modes of nutrition now one more thing i told you that in this chapter there will be essay questions okay your first essay question is nutrition itself okay explain in detail nutrition there will be a four mark question and there is a two mark question so your first four mark question is nutrition so nutrition ke andar jab answer likhna hai you have to write it as it is okay so i as told there are two types of two modes one is autotrophic and the other one is heterotrophic autotrophic ke andar ye itna points hai and there is heterotrophic het heterotrophic this much points okay so in short you you are needed to write all this points okay so essay question ke andar aapko ye sab points mein likhna hai and also underline the important words okay as i am underlining this nutrients is an important word energy building and repairing okay so this much is the important point in first line okay and then now we are going into the answer first autotrophic nutrition autotrophic yani jo khud hi food banaye these organism use simple food materials obtained from inorganic sources okay inorganic sources yani jo कार्बन जो है कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड में है नाइट्रोजन हो तो नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड में हो या फिर नाइट्रेट्स में हो ओके इट इज नॉट अलोन ओके इट इज नॉट इन ऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म इट इज एन इन ऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म दैट इज कंबाइंड फॉर्म ओके इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर ओके सो वी आर टेकिंग कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर दीज ऑर्गेनिज्म आर टर्मड एज ऑटोट्रॉप्स एंड दिस मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इज कॉल्ड ऑटोट्रॉपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन सो व्हेन ऑर्गेनिज्म टेक्स inorganic sources okay that is carbon dioxide and water to make their food it is known as what autotrophic mode of nutrition it includes green plants and some bacteria okay so there are some bacteria that you have to learn now plants ke andar jo nutrition hota hai usko apne wo process ko kya bolte hain photosynthesis you are learning this photosynthesis from your way back from 6th standard i suppose now a complex process by which green parts of the plant see and remember only green parts no yellow parts will be there okay no yellow parts will be forming this photosynthesis only green parts because of the presence of chlorophyll or the plants synthesize organic food in the form of carbohydrate from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll so uh, there is a need of uh, green parts requirements chlorophyll hona chahiye okay and what else is needed there is sunlight is required there is carbon dioxide is required and there is water is required so yahan par dekho okay in this thing okay this much is the requirement okay this much aapka reactant side mein dekho you need what carbon dioxide you need water you need chlorophyll you need sunlight okay ab jab ye sab charo cheez ho to okay if you are having all this four things what will happen you will be forming you will get the ग्लूकोज ओके आपको आपका प्रोडक्ट मिल जाएगा ग्लूकोज ओके ग्लूकोज प्लस ऑक्सीजन प्लस वॉटर ओके सो देर विल बी फोर थिंग थ्री थिंग सॉरी ग्लूकोज ऑक्सीजन एंड वॉटर सो फोटोस इन दिस प्रोसेस के अंदर आपको फोर थिंग्स आर रिक्वायर्ड फोर थिंग फर्स्ट वन इज वॉट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वॉटर 
क्लोरोफिल यानी ग्रीन पिगमेंट इन द प्लांट देन सनलाइट अगर ये चारों चीज हो तो आपको क्या मिल जाएगा ग्लूकोज ऑक्सीजन एंड वॉटर Okay, so the equation clearly indicates the raw materials for photosynthesis are carbon dioxide, water, light energy, light energy of sunlight, you can write, and chlorophyll. It end products are glucose, glucose को क्या बोल सकते हैं और या फिर carbohydrate, hydrates and oxygen. Okay, oxygen and water is mostly it is transpiration is happening. Okay, याने evaporate होके जा रहा है. Okay, you can write water also. There is no problem in that. Okay, water content is Getting reduced. Okay, there was 12 H2O. Yeah, now how per kitna be 6 H2O. So it is reducing. Also, one more thing. This year, this year means 2020 March board exam. This question. Okay, write the equation of photosynthesis that was asked for two marks. So only this equation you are needed to write. Okay, so this equation is very important. Remember, 6 CO2 plus 12 H2. 6 के बाद 12 है, ओके? यहाँ पर क्या है? 6, 12, 6. C6, H12, O6. So you can remember in that way. 6 twos are 12. Then again 6, ओके? Then 6 O2 and 6 H2O. ओके? So याद रखना पहले 6, फिर 12. फिर क्या है? 6, 12, 6. Then 6 and 6. In this way you can remember the balancing I will make you teach in the class itself, ओके? So 6 CO2 plus 12 H2O giving 6 C6 H2O6. Glucose का formula याद रखना. It will be there again. Okay, 6 CO2 plus 6 H2O. Okay. Carbohydrates are utilized for providing energy. Okay. Utilized for providing what energy? The remaining carbohydrates. अभी देखो, जब भी अपने खाना खाते, okay. Now suppose we are having the food in the morning. Okay. Now we will be having the food again in the afternoon only. We are not having the food always. All the time we are not having. So what will we, we whatever food we are having? Okay, they are storing it in your body. Okay, ये store store body में store करते हैं और उसके बाद as required the energy will be liberated, liberated, liberated. Sorry, liberated. So in the same way, even for two or three days you can you can live without food. Okay, so that is what because in your inner body, what do they do? They store food or then energy to store it. Okay, in human body, human body or animals, when they store what the food is, they call it as glycogen. Okay, that is known as what glycogen. And in plants, what they do, they call it as starch. So the remaining carbohydrates, which are not used immediately, are stored in the form of starch. Okay, so this starch is very important. Okay, when we store carbohydrates. स्टोर करके रखते हैं, स्टोर करके रखते हैं तो उस फॉर्म को क्या बोलते हैं अपने स्टार्च। That serves internal energy reserve and is used by plant whenever required. Okay, in the same way, ये भी इम्पोर्टेंट है। Glycogen serves as an internal energy reserve to be used when required in animals. Okay, so stored energy जो है प्लांट्स में स्टार्च बोलते हैं और स्टोर एनर्जी इन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स और एनिमल्स इट इस नोन एस द ग्लाइकोजन। Okay, so this is the first Part of autotrophic nutrition. Now, events in photosynthesis. Events in photosynthesis. First, we'll look. So, absorption of light. Now, this three events are there. Okay, you can see one, two, three. Three events are there. This three events can be in any form. Okay, पहले first हो सकता है. Okay, फिर third हो सकता है, फिर second हो सकता है, या फिर second, first, third. Any pattern that is is okay. Okay. So now here, first, you know that what all requirements are there. There is sunlight is required. There is water is required. There is carbon dioxide is required, and there is what chlorophyll is required. Okay. So now the absorption. First one is what absorption of light energy by chlorophyll. Okay. Chlorophyll ये क्या कर सकता है? Light energy को absorb कर सकता है. और कोई absorb नहीं कर सकता. So light energy is absorbed by whom? Chlorophyll. Okay. Now conversion of light energy into chemical energy. अभी sunlight का जो energy है उसको कौन से form में convert कर रहे हैं? Chemical energy में convert कर रहे हैं. And splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, ये बहुत important है. Okay, now splitting of water molecules जो water था इसके अंदर. Okay, यहाँ पर जो water है उसको किस में split कर रहे हैं? Hydrogen and oxygen में split कर रहे हैं. Okay, now from where hydrogen and oxygen is splitted? Okay, there is a question like this. Okay, then you have to answer what from water. That is H2O से split हो रहा है hydrogen and oxygen. Now, reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates. Carbon dioxide, uh, six CO2 से क्या हो गया था? C6H12O6. Okay, glucose is formed. So, carbon dioxide से carbohydrates. तो तीन form है. Light energy कौन receive कर रहा है? Chlorophyll. Light energy को किसमें convert कर रहा है? Chemical energy में. और water molecules में क्या convert हो रहा है? It is forming into oxygen and 
हाइड्रोजन एंड देन दर्ड फॉर्म इज वॉट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड जो है उसको किसमें कन्वर्ट कर रहे हैं कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स में सो दिस आर द्री इवेंट्स इन फोटो सिंथेसिस ओके नाउ If it is a four mark question till here, at least till here you are needed to write it. Okay, till here, four mark question. Me, agar full nutrition pucha ho, so you have to write at least autotropic. Me, yahan tak likhna hai. Okay, and if it is only autotropic, it is asked. You have to write the whole thing. This whole thing you have to write. So the above steps may or may not be take take place one after the other immediately. Example. मैंने बोला था एक कोई भी कोई भी स्टेप्स कभी भी ले सकते हैं एग्जांपल डेजर्ट प्लांट्स में दे टेक अप कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एट नाइट एंड प्रिपेयर एन इंटरमीडिएट कंपाउंड ओके सो नॉर्मली इन व्हाट इन द नॉर्मल जो प्लांट्स यहां पर है इन योर इन योर सराउंडिंग कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज टेकन इन द डे टाइम ओके बट डेजर्ट में डेजर्ट में वो लोग कब लेते हैं दे आर टेकिंग एट द नाइट टाइम okay so one more question mein this is if it may ask in your regular exam okay regular jo periodic exams hoenge usme puchne ka chances hai so desert desert plants take up carbon dioxide at night and prepare an intermediate compounds this intermediate compound is acted upon the energy absorbed during the day by the chlorophyll so energy light energy chlorophyll absorb kar lete hai okay and then accordingly they make the food okay now condition necessary and raw materials for photosynthesis okay raw materials kya kya chahiye sunlight it affects the rate of photosynthesis by its varying intensity quality and duration okay sunlight jitna ho abhi rainy season mein kya hoga sunlight kam hoga to unke andar food production kya hoga kam hoga okay so that is the basic thing okay for so that they are they are storing it storing it in the form of what starch okay yes now the second one is chlorophyll a green color photosynthetic pigment found in chloroplast of a plant that is responsible for trapping solar energy to so, kon trap kar raha Chlor chlorophyll kya ho raha sunlight ko trap kar raha so the next one is carbon dioxide it enters the leaf through the stomata okay stomata is there okay will i'll show you the uh, photo of stomata stomata there is a open stomata and closed stomata okay you have already learned in last year okay when you see the figure you will remember okay there is sturgeon and flacid okay that is tiny pores present on the surface of the leaves through which massive amount of gaseous exchange take place in leaves okay so ye stomata jo hota hai wahan se kya hota hai gaseous exchange hota hai matlab gas andar jana aur bahar jana jaise aapka nose ho okay you are taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide in the same way they are also they are they are having a nose that is known as a stomata they are they are taking in and they are giving out okay stomata picture i'll show you okay this one is the stomata okay when that is open when the stomata is open that is known as what turgid okay that is this is the guard cells okay ye side mein jo hai guard cells hai chloroplast you can see it okay here is a chlor chloroplast in in here then the stomatal pore so how does this open and this close okay that is an important thing okay jab bhi pani zyada jata hai when there is a water more amount of water inside okay at that time what will happen the guard cells will be relaxed and they will be open okay and when the water is gone outside a bit evaporation hota hai vaisi transpiration hota hai okay gaseous exchange so gaseous exchange se jab water yahan se pura chala jata hai okay ye guard cell ke andar se chala jata hai to kya ho jata hai wo shrink ho jata hai so shrink hota hai wo form ko apne kya bolte hain flaccid and when it is open that is known as what turgid jab pani ka amount zyada ho okay root se pani zyada aake ye khul jata hai that time what there will be exchange of gases so when water is there what carbon dioxide will come in so when water is not there to photosynthesis bhi nahi hoega to kya aayega ye shrink ho jayega and it will be closed and that is known as what flaccid is that clear this thing so turgid and flaccid this diagram is important you are needed to draw this also okay along with the notes now so hope you understood this Ex gaseous exchange take place in leaves okay large inter intercellular space process name diffusion okay in large inter intercellular space diffusion yesterday we did what high concentration to low concentration apart from this surface of stems leaves and root also contribute in the gaseous exchange okay stems and roots also are having what gaseous exchange water it is absorbed by the roots okay so remember now from the next time onwards don't drop water on the leaves okay don't drop the water on the leaves you have to drop the water on the roots okay so drop it only on the root side because they will be absorbing the water from the roots only okay never there is a opening from outside opening there is not there okay from the leaves so it is absorbed by the roots from the soil and transported upward through the xylem 
okay xylem do you remember it is only having what upward motion and it is taking only what water or xylem ke sath dusra ek apne tissue pada tha that is phloem okay phloem kya hota hai it is having upward and downward direction and it is taking what nutrients from leaves to other parts of the plants as required as required by the needs okay phloem Xylem to the leaves and then to the photosynthetic cells. Photosynthetic cells यानि क्या होगा आपका leaves में जहाँ पर photosynthesis होने वाला है. Other materials. अभी उसके साथ थोड़ा और proteins मिलने के लिए means more more proteins मिलने के लिए क्या-क्या और चाहिए. Nitrogen is required. Phosphorus, iron, magnesium are also required for photosynthesis and are taken up from the soil. ये सब चीजें कहाँ से ले रहे हैं? Soil से ही direct ले रहे हैं. Okay? Is that clear this much? Now. Going into heterotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition, yani it is about us. Okay, we are depending on other. In heterotrophic mode of nutrition, organism cannot prepare food on their own. Cannot prepare their food on their own. So it have to depend on other things. Heterotrophs obtain energy from organic molecules already produced by autotrophs. Yani we are dependent on the autotroph. Autotroph ne jo food banaya, wo ham khale. Okay, the heterotrophic forms of nutrition differ depending on the type. availability process of obtaining the food materials by the organism okay kaise inke andar bhi bahut sare types hai okay we'll be going in the types okay you can see the three red okay that are the three most important uh, nutrition type okay types of this heterotrophic according to this herbivores carnivores omnivores saprotrophs parasites includes in heterotrophs heterotrophic mode of nutrition can be of the following main three types okay these are the three main types and you have to remember these three names and also in detail out there answer okay so heterotrophic mode of nutrition you have to write all this okay the first point holozoic nutrition holozoic in a whole we are taking the food in whole okay jo breakdown hoga aapke stomach ke andar hoga jo bhi khana khate ho okay you are taking the food All, all the, all the food you are taking in, and your digestion, digestion, याने breakdown कहाँ हो रहा है? Body के अंदर हो रहा है. Remember that point, okay? You are taking in and whole, and breakdown is happening inside your stomach. So herbivores, carnivores, okay? Herbivores याने क्या होता है? Plant eaters. You already know that. Carnivores याने meat eaters. Omnivores याने क्या है? Both plant and meat possess holozoic mode of nutrition. Now. Complex food molecules are taken in and then broken down into simpler and soluble molecules. Molecules, okay, in this type of nutrition. Okay, example, कौन सा कौन सा cow है, amoeba, goat, human being, etc. So herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, ये सभी क्या है? Holozoic है, क्योंकि ये लोग food अंदर लेते हैं और breakdown जो होता है कहाँ पर होता है? Body के अंदर. Now we'll look into the What saprotrophic? Okay, saprotrophic में क्या होएगा? Breakdown कहाँ होता है? बाहर होता है. Okay, breakdown बाहर होता है और उसके बाद intake लेते हैं. Okay, that is the main difference. Holozoic में the we are taking the whole and breakdown is happening inside the body. Now here क्या है? Saprotrophic में क्या होता है? Breakdown is happening outside the body. That is the only difference. Saprotroph usually feed upon dead organic matter, break breaking down complex material. breaking down complex materials outside the body and absorbing it so that is the main point so breaking down of the complex materials happening outside the body example fungi like bread molds mushroom yeast bacteria yeast bacteria mushrooms and all that they are breaking down breaking down the food outside and then they are taking it exactly the same saprotrophs now the next one is what parasitic nutrition parasites live either parasites yani it is dependent Okay, किसी प्लांट के ऊपर या एनिमल के ऊपर जो ठहर जाता है उसको अपने पैरासाइट्स बोलते हैं पैरासाइट लीव ऑन लीव ऑन आइदर इन साइड और आउटसाइड ओके लीव आइदर ऑन और ऑन और इन साइड ऑन और इन साइड यानी बॉडी के ऊपर या बॉडी के अंदर ऑन और इन साइड Either on or inside the body of the other organism, other organism, yeah, host. Okay, to obtain the nutrition without killing them. Example: plants like cascata, ticks, lice, leeches, and tapeworms. This example, these examples are important. Okay, यहाँ पर किसको नुकसान ज़्यादा हो रहा है? It is happening to the host. Okay, host के ऊपर. Okay, any parasite is living on the host. तो host का क्या होता है? Nutrition पूरा ले रहा है. okay so it is what deteriorating the host itself okay so without killing them matlab unko maar dalenge nahi but it will be what it will be taking in the nutrition slowly so examples are plants like cascata takes lice leeches tapeworms 
okay so this is the first essay that is nutrition nutrition mein do types ke do uh, types ke mode hote hain ek is one is autotrophic nutrition and the other one is heterotrophic mode of nutrition autotrophic jo food khud banate hain iske andar ye formula it is important then events in photosynthesis water molecules are split into hydrogen and oxygen then heterotrophic mode mein we discuss this thing okay holozoic saprotrophic parasitic okay now the next thing is what we are going into uh this yahan par dekho in the autotrophic mode itself okay now you you can see that there are requirements carbon dioxide is required chlorophyll is required sunlight is required okay now we are going to do some activity describing that carbon dioxide is very much essential without carbon dioxide photosynthesis process is not possible okay abhi photosynthesis process ke andar main ek cheez kya hai agar food bana ho to kaise pata chalega yahan par kya form hoga glucose form hoga aur glucose ka stored form kya hoga it is known as the starch remember that thing so this carbon dioxide chlorophyll sunlight is the most important thing aur uske liye kya chahiye hoga what will be the uh, reminder means what will be form glucose will be form and it's in the form of what starch stored form hoga starch now we'll look into the activity okay now is one more thing okay now this figure you can see in your in your textbook also you can see that uh, this figure now ye figure ke andar you have to remember all the names okay and this one is a mid trip okay it can be there there are chances that this figure will be given okay figure will be given and you will be asked to mark the points okay they will be giving this as what a okay and see if upper dem, upper epidermis this is as b and they'll be asking you to name this thing okay name a and b so name a and b yani aapko ye naam pura yaad rehna hai okay it is not required you have to remember the how to draw but you have to remember where the things are okay chloroplast this this is for chloroplast there is air space guard cells okay guard cells and lower epidermis epidermis yani you remember last years the outermost skin outermost skin is known as the epidermis okay now upper epidermis is there lower epidermis is there guard cells waxy cuticle 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 you remember last year okay it is a smooth thing okay waxy smooth thing that is upper, on the upper epidermis okay phloem xylem vascular bundle okay phloem and xylem okay xylem dekho water se किया है फ्लोएम न्यूट्रिएंट्स लेके जाता है ओके सो दैट इज हाउ यू हैव टू रिमेंबर ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स ओके व्हाट द मार्किंग्स यू आर नीडेड टू रिमेंबर नाउ गोइंग इनटू द एक्सपेरिमेंट नाउ फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट ओके फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट आई विल टेल इट इज वेरीगेटेड लीफ फर्स्ट थिंग इज यू हैव टू नो दैट इट इज अ वेरीगेटेड लीफ ओके नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू टेस्ट whether क्लोरोफिल इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फोटोसिंथेसिस और नो क्लोरोफिल इंपॉर्टेंट है क्लोरोफिल इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है ओके नाउ फर्स्ट यू विल टेक अ लीफ okay you will take a leaf yahan par dekho yellow green leaf layer like money plant okay yellow and green both the thing is there to yahan par green yahan par dekho green chlorophyll you can see okay yahan par yellow part mein chlorophyll hoga nahi hoga so green parts mein jahan bhi ho wahan par kya hoga chlorophyll hoga okay now what uh, you you can remove all this thing okay you can remove the chlorophyll also and all this thing okay by using the using alcohol alcohol se ye chlorophyll support remove kar sakte okay now the always remember jab bhi iske andar hamesha iodine test karte hai iodine test karte hai agar starch ho glucose stored form mein hoga to kya hoga starch starch ho to agar uske andar iodine dale to uske andar kya kis mein form ho jayega blue black mein form ho jayega whenever starch is present in a leaf okay uske andar iodine dalte hai to kya hoga uske andar blue green color mein form ho jayega if starch is not present starch is not present there will be no blue green okay so all we are there are two experiments in the textbook and the third one it is not given you are asked to find out yourself so wo bhi we are doing it we are doing that also so you will see always the iodine test iodine test mein jab bhi starch present ho at that time it will be converted into blue and black okay now we we'll look into the experiment itself to show that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis materials required potted croton plant iodine solution beaker test tube bunsen burner tripod stand with wire gauze alcohol water method detach a leaf from the potted plant 
Put the leaf in a test tube containing boiling alcohol. Chlorophyll of the leaf will come out in alcohol and the leaf will become pale. Now remove the test tube. Take out the leaf and wash it with water. Spread the leaf on a watch glass. Put a few drops of iodine solution on the leaf. Green parts of the leaf become blue-black. Non-green parts become brownish. Conclusion Starch is formed only in green parts of the leaf by photosynthesis. Hence, chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. Okay, so is that clear this thing? So, where green parts are, there is starch form. Okay, that is starch is formed only in green parts of the leaf by photosynthesis. Okay, so green parts are where chlorophyll is, there is starch ka presence. Starch ka presence ke liye sa test we did, we did the iodine test. Iodine dale or iodine jahan, jahan starch wo sa color mein form hoga? blue black. Or where starch is not, there is pale color, mein, brownish color, pale color mein, it was formed. Now, this we already discussed. Now, second one, second experiment, jo hai, activity 6.2. Uske in the, we are doing experiment for the presence of carbon dioxide is required or not. For four things are required, you mainly know for the photosynthesis. First one is what carbon dioxide, second one is water, third one is sunlight, fourth one is chlorophyll. We did the experiment of chlorophyll. Okay, now we are doing the uh, next one that is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide ke bina photosynthesis ho sakta hai ya fir nahi. Okay, now par dekho, we are taking Two, 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 two plants we are taking. First of all, two plants are taking. Then we are taking the bell jar. Okay. Bell jar kare or we are putting the Vaseline also so, so that it is airtight. Okay. Now in one of the thing, one of the thing, okay, you can see a dish. Okay. Inside this, there's what? Hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen, sorry, potassium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide. Ye potassium hydroxide kya da hai? Jo bhi carbon dioxide usko kya kar hai? It will react with the potassium hydroxide. So as in the first chapter, you remember the series, okay? So potassium, potassium hydroxide, what will take? It will take all the carbon dioxide with itself. So carbon dioxide jo CO2, जो यहां पर प्लांट्स में जाना चाहिए वो सब कहां जा रहा है पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड तो अगर CO2 नहीं हो तो CO2 नहीं हो तो स्टार्च फॉर्म होएगा या नहीं होएगा ओके सो दैट इज द एक्सपेरिमेंट यहां पर कुछ भी नहीं है सो so यहां पर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड है यहां पर जो बेल बेल के अंदर जो है बेल जार के अंदर जो है उससे रिएक्ट हो जाएगा सो विल लुक व्हाट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज रिक्वायर्ड ऑन नॉट एक्टिविटी टू शो दैट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज नेसेसरी फॉर फोटोसिंथेसिस Take two healthy potted plants which are nearly of the same size. Keep them in a dark room for three days. Now place each plant on separate glass plates. Place a watch glass containing potassium hydroxide by the side of one of the plants. The potassium hydroxide is used to absorb the carbon dioxide. Cover both of the plants with separate bell jars as shown. Use Vaseline to seal the bottom of the jars to the glass plates so that the setup is airtight. Keep the plants in the sunlight for about two hours. Pluck a leaf from each plant and check for the presence of starch as in the above activity. Do both the leaves show the presence of same amount of starch? What can you conclude from this activity? We conclude that carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis process. The carbon dioxide along with water combines to give glucose plus oxygen plus water. Okay, so now this can the uh, potassium hydroxide nahi tha, uske in the deco blue blue black color bud zada hai. Okay, or just can the hydrogen uh, potassium hydroxide tha, uske in the there is no starch presence. Okay, so in this way we can we can confirm, we confirm that carbon dioxide is very much required for photosynthesis. Okay, now in the same way, sunlight, okay, whether sunlight is required or not, okay, so sunlight could be an experiment, karte, okay, Abhi, uh, sunlight ke samne rakh rahe, and we are covering a leaf with a black, black color paper, okay, we'll look in the experiment, then you'll understand, or it's maybe same format, kar rahe, what we'll do, you'll do the iodine test, iodine test, karenge, or agar blue black may convert, hua, there is a presence of starch, if it is not converted into blue black, there is no presence of starch, see these activities, from these activities, there are chances of asking two mark questions, 
okay it will not be asking in essay so you have to remember iodine test you have to remember chlorophyll is required carbon dioxide sunlight all that you have to remember all these things okay now to demonstrate that light is necessary for photosynthesis requirements potted plant petri dish boiling tube alcohol 70% iodine solution bunsen burner forceps beaker water dropper black paper procedure take a healthy potted plant and place it in dark for about 72 hours so that the leaves become free from starch after 72 hours select a leaf on the plant and cover a portion of it on both sides with black paper keep the potted plant with a covered leaf in sunlight for a few hours after a few hours detach the covered leaf from the plant and remove the black papers boil the leaf in water for a few minutes now boil the leaf in alcohol in a water bath till it becomes dull white due to the removal of chlorophyll same as a procedure first activity wash the leaf with water and add iodine solution okay you can see that observation the portion of leaf which was covered does not change color whereas the portion which was uncovered turns blue black okay. inference and conclusion the portion of leaf which was not covered received all the factors necessary for photosynthesis therefore that part could only photosynthesize whereas the one which was covered could not manufacture food the presence of starch gave the positive test with iodine that is turned to blue black color photosynthesis is the process of manufacturing of food by the green parts of the plant especially the leaves in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll with the help of carbon dioxide and water okay so is that clear so water is most most essential you know that the rest three sunlight chlorophyll and carbon dioxide so three activities are there now i want you to write the activity as the test okay that is uh, requirements okay procedure conclusion okay all the thing materials required okay you have to write it as step as you written last year okay so write it in steps so this will be beneficial for you in the coming works okay coming exams and all so today basically uh, the first thing is nutrition a four mark question okay and this two marks this question can be asked of the diagram okay activity mostly it is asked in two mark if it is asked it will be asked in two marks or if it is a very tough examination they can ask this as what as a four mark question also write an experiment uh, related to uh, for the importance of carbon chlorophyll in photosynthesis they can give that way also four mark question so at that time you are needed to write all this thing okay so that's why i'm making you write now the uh, the materials required procedure conclusion all these three things okay basically write it okay so this much you do it 
and you are needed to submit the homework to Chirag. Okay, I've shared you shared you the Chirag's number. So share it with him and make it as PDF or a short video. PDF you can make it with Cam Scanner. Cam Scanner is a good app. Okay, from that you can make the uh, PDF and share it to him. So that will be more easier for us to check the homeworks. Okay, is that clear? Thank you very much. And do learn very well.